<clears throat> okay, so the height and feet of a ball thrown by a child is y equals negative 1 over 14 x squared plus 2x plus 3, where x is the horizontal distance in feet from the point at which the child which which the ball uh, <laughs> which the ball is thrown. <laughs> How high is the ball when it leaves the child's hand? So that's at time zero, so you're just plugging zero in for x, and when you do that, the first two terms get wiped out and you just get three. So three feet. The maximum height of the ball is the vertex, so for that we need to find negative b over 2a. <clears throat> so <laughs> b in this case is 2, so it would be negative 2 over 2 times a, which is negative 1 over 14. And we want to simplify that bit. Um, so negative 2 over it's going to be negative 2 over 14, which is negative 2 times 14 over negative 2. The negative 2's cancel, and we just get positive 14. Unfortunately, that doesn't give us the height. It only gives us the horizontal distance. Um, so we need to plug that into the function. Um, and find the height. The, the height is y, so y is equal to negative 1 over 14 times 14 squared plus 2 times 14 plus 3. So let's put that all in the calculator. So negative 1 over 14 times 14 squared Uh, plus 2 times 14 plus 3 is 17. So the height was 17 feet, um, maximum height that is. So let's put 17 here. And how far from the child does the ball strike the ground? So that's your horizontal distance and that's when the height is zero because when the ball hits the ground, the height is zero. So we're letting y be zero, and we need to find what the horizontal distance, or x, is. So it's a quadratic um, equation. We got one side equal to zero. Uh, let's see if we can multiply both sides by four, or negative 14, and um, you know make this a little friendlier for us. So the the left side, which I'm going to now make the right side, is still 0, um, but we get just plain old x squared minus 28x and minus 14 times 3 is 42. So minus 42 equals 0, and I believe this can be factored. Um, let's see, 42 is 6 times 7, um, that's not going to give us a 28. We can do 21 and 2, but it's still not 28. Uh, let's see, does 3 go into it? I believe so. 42 divided by 3 is 14, but that still doesn't give us 28. Um, 4 doesn't go into it. 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Hmm, I think that we've gotten all the factors of it. None of them are working, so we might need to uh, try a different approach. So the quadratic formula is a little cumbersome, but it's fail proof. It's always going to work. So x is equal to negative b, which is negative 2, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 4, minus 4 times a times c, all over 2 times a. Okay, so we're going to simplify this a little at a time. <coughs> leave myself lots of room here. So that's going to equal negative 2 plus or minus the square root. Let's see if we can clean this up. 
uh, 4 minus, well, it's actually going to be plus, but 4 times negative 1 divided by 14 times 3. So the inside just becomes 34 over 7. And the bottom is going to be negative 1 over 7, if you simplify that. So the square root of 34 over 7 doesn't come out nicely. But uh, we just need to approximate where this ball is going to be. So we have negative 2 um, plus or minus. What is the square root of 34 over 7? It's about 2.2. 204. Three decimal places is generally good enough. Alright, so if I do negative 2 plus that and divide it by negative 1 seventh, I get that the vertical distance is negative 1.427. Well, I know that's not going to work because it doesn't make sense. So let me try subtracting. So negative 2 minus 2.204 divided by negative 1 7. That gives me 29.428. So that is going to be a more reasonable answer. So that is how far the ball will be once it hits the ground.